Okay, what we're going to have a look at doing now is creating some motion and effects within, slide, uh, within our slideshow. It can be used as part of a sequence. What I've already done, just to save a little bit of time, is I've created a new show. If we double click on this, you can see the way it opens up our show options. There it is there. I've called it our show. The aspect ratio is custom and it's 1024 by 768. And if we just take a look, there's the standard ones, the 4x3 TV the 16x9 widescreen TV, and that's the one I use there. You'll notice something else, the blue cross here. If we come in, show composition lines, I'm going to right click, I'm going to put the composition lines because we will be using these a bit later. Let's click done. The first slide, this one here, it can be anything. As I say, this works on a whole range of different subject matters, but you'll notice the black band to the top and the bottom. Double clicking, We'll open the slide option dialog box. Clicking on layer, we can come to scaling, fit to frame. We're going to drop from the menu here and choose fill frame and click. No, we're not. We're going to come back to motion. Nearly forgot. While we're here, we're going to come to copy, end to next slide. We're going to click on this. It's now put in slide number two. Now we're going to click done. But what I could have done while I was still there and I forgot, we're going to come to editing. And we're going to come to colorize. We're going to click colorize, and you can choose whatever color you want there. You make it a little bit brighter. You can make it a little bit darker. You can tone it. You can do whatever you want in this dialog box. Once you're happy, click set color. Now I can click done. Right. Let's introduce another slide. Let's pop down and choose these here. Right. Click in pressing control. Control will bring the plus symbol onto my folded piece of paper, which means that slide is now copied in double clicking. What we're going to do now is click on the motion tab so we're now on the motion. We're going to come and rather than use the zoom slider here I'm going to click in the box which has highlighted it and I'm going to put in 30%. Coming to this one again putting in 30%. This is where we can use the guides now. We can move this to the side. We're going to move this and bring it over to the side like that. So you can see how using the guides it's useful for lining it up. We're going to come to copy, copy end to next slide, this time choosing all layers because this will bring the background layer with us, it will bring our car, there it goes. And now we can now go to slide number three by clicking in this box. This is what we're going to call a rest slide, I'll explain this as we go through. So we're now going to come to copy, copy end to next slide all layers so we've now gone to that and let's go there it is there to slide number four by clicking on this arrow at this position here we're going to come and we're going to take the zoom on our end position that's this window here to 80 percent again copy end to next slide all layers we'll bring this across and again this is another rest slide so again it's going to be copy copy end to next slide all layers and through this goes there. Right, let's click done. Let's take a look. Let's go back to the beginning. If I click play, watch what happens. This is going to come through. There comes the sl slide across at three seconds. It's going to reach this position here. There's going to be a horrible blurry effect. It's going to stay on screen. This is far too long. Now let's just take a look at one problem at a time. If we come to this position here, there's that horrible blurry look that we get. All we need to do is come to the transition time there and put in zero. That now will just skip to the next slide so there's no blurry look. This is on screen for three seconds. It's a rest slide. So I'm going to change this by changing it to one second there or just put in one. We'll do that. It'll now come through and again we'll get that horrible blurry look there. So again transition to zero. So now when we play it, it's going to come through. It's now going to grow. That's a bit far. So let's take that to six seconds. And again we'll get that blurry look there. So again I'm going to press zero for this. Let's try this now. Through that comes into this position here. Grow it. There's the other rest position. So we can now choose, so let's just do something like two seconds in there. Right, let's double click. No, I tell a lie. Let's click cancel even because, getting ahead of myself, what we're going to do now is introduce another slide. Let's click on this one. Again, pressing control, dragging it right to the end, dropping it in on slide number five. In it pops. 
double click in. Now I can do it. We can come to layer. You'll notice now I've actually got, I don't need this one here. I deliberately added this so I can show you how we can delete it. Believe that, you believe anything by just pressing on that delete symbol there. It's gone. I've actually got two of those as well. The reason for that is if that ever happens to you, it's probably because you had some of these highlighted by dragging them in again. So it's worth checking here. And as I say, that's why I made that deliberate mistake so I could show you. Right. Clicking on the top slide, we're going to reduce that to slide number two in the layer stack. Come into motion. We're on slide number two. Just make sure you've selected it from here. So there it is there. Again, we're going to click in this box and we're going to put in 30%. We're going to click in this box and we're going to put in 30% there as well. What we can now do is you can choose to bring it in from any direction. You may even want to bring it in on a diagonal, say from up, up in that area there. The important thing, this is going to be the rest area. We're now going to come to slide number one. You'll notice how this is now highlighted. We're now going to bring this slide and we're going to move it out off the side of the screen like that. Let's take this. We're going to take this to six seconds. Let's play this now. See how this is going to come through. That's going to come through there nicely like that, that dropping down into position. You can have it coming from any direction, like so. Copy to the next slide there, through the old go. If we go to the next slide, there it is like that. This is going to be the rest position here. What we can also do is check this out. And there's the first slide, or the first slide we had was there. We can actually delete that, because we just want this slide now. And if we drop down to motion, copy to next all layers through it pops we can come into this and this one now we can take this up to 80 percent and leave it on screen let's just take a look let's have a look at this sequence from and again we need to take out these figures here of three seconds let's just take a look see how this is going to come together with the movement and motion we've got coming through holding in the center there coming up through it goes like that so then going to stop there six seconds then moving out the other one coming in it can come from any direction stopping in that position resting for three seconds just a little bit on the long side so all we're going to do now is we're going to take this to a second let's try that one more time that's going to move down into position there none of this blurry effect stop in there that looks pretty good resting for a second before growing and we can stop this then on the next slide as we did before or take it into whatever other sort of sequences you want something else I would like to show you with this as well really like doing this gonna double click on it we're gonna come to editing clicking on the editing box and we're gonna come to drop shadow now clicking on drop shadow switching it on there you'll notice a little drop shadow just suddenly appeared but here's the magic coming to the on button if you right click you can copy enable to all layers on all slides clicking on this watch what happens underneath you get drop shadows on them all clicking on the outline can also look good you can choose the colors here by clicking on the set color as we've done before again right clicking copy enable to all layers on just coming off your screens there believe me it says all slides off we go now click done let's come to the very beginning and we're just going to put this to I know two seconds make it a bit faster for us through it's going to come there don't forget you can adjust all the timings to suit the slideshows that you're working with through to the center going to rest there there's the white stroke line there's the drop shadow it gives it a little bit more of a 3d look to it through that comes coming across like that and you can see the way you can add the movement and motion to your slideshow it's going to stop there it's going to grow, and, grow. and then you can go off into whatever other sequence, repeat the whole thing with other slides coming in, entirely up to you. Adapt it for the sort of shows that you want to use. Hope you've enjoyed this, and until the next time, happy imaging, and take care.